Hi everyone, I just wanted to briefly explain um, this challenge. Um, normally in reception we would sit with your child and we'd do some um, guided writing with them during the week. I set last week the gingerbread man activity for you to have a go at. The same with this one and the fact that you can have a go at this over the, any time over today or, um, or on Friday or if you need to even next Monday. Um, you can fit it in her, around what you're doing. Um, to go through this activity, there are three challenges uh, which have been differentiated um, for you. So the first one, it gives you an idea at the top of what the challenge is and what the objective is. Um, we wouldn't normally share that with your child, actually, or we would share it, but in a very child-friendly way. So not specifically that word in your voice. Um, the challenge here is to see if they can have a go at sounding out the words um, that or, or sounding out the pictures that they can see. So here we've got a vet. Um, we've also got um, a road worker. Now sometimes you have to be a little creative when you're trying to do something that is phonetically um, plausible for your child to write. As you'll see on some of my next ones, I've got also got a chef. Um, I've got a fireman, but this one I was trying to show the rung, the ladder. Um, a telephone that is ringing, again, one for people at, uh, helping. And then um, a link into, um, into um, oh, what's the right word? Into petrol stations and people that help with making sure that you buy cars with petrol. Um, so the way that the challenges are differentiated. Um, I would only expect your child to have a go at one of them. If they wanted to have a go at all of them, they could, but it wouldn't probably be that interesting for them because they, they repeat. Um, so your child just go having a go at one of them. Um, if you're not sure which one, I can make that really, really clear for you. I can just put it onto your own private account. So challenge one is this challenge. Challenge is to have a go at sounding out the initial sounds of the word. So for vet, for instance, it's thinking about what that initial sound might look like. So you're thinking of recently promoted phonics. So it's that sound, and it's having a go at like, writing that down and doing the same for the other ones. The next one you'll see looks pretty much identical. This one I've just put slightly different on top is it's thinking about sounding out the words. Um, um, the whole word. Um, so obviously vet, so you've got that vet. So they're having a go at sounding that one out. Um, this one, we've got um, the road worker. I personally wouldn't um, require or demand of them or ask of them um, to be writing worker down. I'd just be thinking, can you have a try at road? Um, the next one we've got here, so we've got um, chef. Now, one thing to really note here in terms of chef, they are going to, um, your children, what is amazing is that they will phonetically write it down. It doesn't matter at this age if they're not getting the letters right. So, in terms of chef, really, that sounds like a. Okay, now we all know that it's. And you can have that conversation with your child. If your child thinks maybe they know it's not that right, if they've seen the word before, or maybe they want to know exactly how it's spelled, that's fine. But in terms of reception, I would always model phonetic um, writing um, for those types of that type of language. So um, it's absolutely fine if they're writing chef and um, with the sh sound brilliant. Um, again, wrong on the ladder. I'll show you. So. Uh, uh, Mm. I'm going to go um, at that challenge. And then um, finally, so our one um, is the same thing in terms of sounding out to begin with, but then there's a, um, additional challenges and seeing if they can have a go at picking something that interests them and see if they can do one sentence around this. Um, and um, those are the challenges this week. I hope that. Um, this video hopefully has just been useful for me to explain it. Um, if you're not sure, um, please do message me via Teams and I will try and support as much as I possibly can. Thank you. Bye.